What's going on, y'all? It's time to break down this Live 14 trailer. So let's jump into it. Now, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the relationship with the basketball and Kyrie Irving's hand. Looking pretty good. Um, all the accessories within the shop were looking pretty good. My main thing is, um, as I go along with this trailer, you'll probably notice that I speak on graphics. Now, in E3, the graphics were looking incredible. You know, the players' faces were looking really good. This shot right here doesn't look next gen at all from the shot where i seen Kyrie irving going up against the clippers and you know his close-up face shot is totally different from this i believe that ea was trying to spin us a little bit with maybe giving us next gen feel but maybe current gen graphics not pretty sure like with this shot of steve nash it doesn't look next gen at all. A lot of people had a problem with, you know, this not even looking like Steve Nash. Maybe if you gave Steve Nash his actual haircut, which is like, you know, somewhat of a buzz cut, then it probably would look more like Steve Nash. But as it goes for next gen graphics, I'm really not sure that this is next gen at all. Now, we're looking at a five on five situation. Uh, most of the players' legs are bent, um, which have been a problem for EA in recent years. You know, they're, the players can never stand straight up. You know, it, it's been a, a, a big problem, but it's, it's very minor. But to some gamers, they do have a big problem with that. Now, this little floater right here, I believe it's key. You know, it's, it's a very good shot of Steve Nash taking a floater. But at the same time, a lot of people are going to argue that that's not Steve Nash's floater or the graphics still suck or, you know, things like that. But me personally, I'm all about the gameplay. As long as it feels and plays well, that floater should be fine in my book. Now, this close-up shot of Damian Lillard, you guys can see the tattoos are looking very good. Um, graphically, still, there's a small problem, but it does look like Damian Lillard. Uh, the creases in his forehead, his uh, his build is still a little bulky, you know, for him to be a skinny guard. But, you know, maybe with progress, EA will step it up. Um, they have plenty of time. You know, a lot of people want them to catch up to 2K very quickly i don't believe that that's possible since they were lacking in that in a lot of years now um i already told you guys the problem that i had with the sneakers you guys can see it here they really don't look like you know any basketball brand sneakers they look like they're plastered on now as we move along you guys will see right here that animation a lot of people had a problem with. Um, he crosses the guy up and Derrick Rose, we all know he's one of those guys that jump off one foot. For him to gather and jump off two feet for a tomahawk dunk really isn't Derrick Rose, you know, ish. But, you know, a lot of people felt like it was a little laggy and that you probably got to hit like a bunch of different button presses to get that off. Now, my main problem with this shot is not Dwayne Wade at all. It's the fans. Um, for some reason, everybody's sitting down. Now, I know we're in Golden State. All right. But in real life, if, if a person is about to go on a dunk on a fast break situation, everybody is standing up, either cheering, booing, or whatever. But no reaction from the fans is not what I want to see. I want to see more there. Now, this right here, oh, is, it probably sent a lot of 2K fans in a frenzy. We have a supposedly one-on-one -on -one situation, which turns into somewhat of a double team, and Paul George just spins through everyone. That's going to be tricky to see. Hopefully, they don't have one of those double tap B type of buttons to get that off. Hopefully, you know, it's something in the shot stick. Now, I really like this pose. This is Tim Duncan at his finest. This is what he does. Jump shot. His form is right. Once the clip um, moves on you'll see that the ball hits off the backboard that's what tim duncan does and that's what i like to see i actually like to see real basketball nobody's double teaming him this is a one-on-one -on -one situation now this close-up it, it looks entirely like tim duncan i will say that it looks just like him the jersey looks good but like i said again is this next gen what, like i i what I saw at E3 and what I saw, uh, you know, with a couple of their screenshots, I don't think this is what they gave us. Like, look at this shot right here. This is supposedly supposed to be Kobe Bryant in a post-up situation, but it mm, doesn't really look like Kobe Bryant. You know, um, to me, I'm hoping that 
what they did here was just put out something small, something in an early build to, you know, either not get the fans, you know, worried about it, just to let them know that they're making progress. Whatever needs to be fixed here, either they'll fix it or maybe they just put us on edge so that we could be like, oh, the game is poop or, you know, just the when the game drops, it's something totally different. But I don't think as a marketing strategy that that's the right move to make. So I'm hoping that this is not the final product because we are very close to release. Now, this I was just nitpicking that is supposed to be, you know, him celebrating, but that's not clearly a, a whole fist. It's like he got his palm a little exposed. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just me nitpicking. But um, the flow of the jerseys are looking pretty good. As he's celebrating, only a few fans are celebrating. So I'm guessing everybody wasn't a Spurs fan there. Now, this shot, I love it. This is Carmelo Anthony in his essence. You know, at the three-point line, getting the ball on the ISO, about to go to work, going to the baseline. Everybody knows that this is Carmelo Anthony. But again, a lot of people are going to have problem with the graphic array. Now, I know a lot of people want live to step up to 2K's graphics, but sometimes it's hard to do so, man. He's been trailing for a long time. Now, this right here, I had a big problem with. First of all, his arm went through his uh, offense. You know, it should have hit his hand. It should have been a foul. Carmelo Anthony should have got, you know, bumped or, you know, fell to the ground. Something, you know, for him just to take a jump shot, all that defense, and then nothing happens. Really not realistic. You know, in the NBA, somebody's going to try to flop or something. Now, this shot right here, love it of Carmelo. Only thing is his hairline. What the heck is going on there? Um, his accessories in this specific shot don't look like they're actual accessories. They look like, you know, they're his arm. You know, maybe, you know, it's just maybe it, it was the way that the trailer was made. Maybe it was the editing. I'm not sure. But I'm just catching this all on different type of shots. Now, I had a big problem with this. Kyrie Irving broke down his uh, defender, drove to the lane. Nobody collapsed to the paint. Everybody just stood there and let Kyrie do what he wanted to do. And Stoudemire tried to step up. Chandler did nothing while he was out on a uh, wing. Don't know why he was there. He should have been in the paint. He is the center. But, you know, it is what it is. I believe that Iman should have been the one in the corner. And Chandler and Stoudemire should have been the two in the paint. Felton, he, why is he in the paint right now? You know, it, it just doesn't seem realistic to me basketball-wise. But it's a lot to see you know this is just my breakdown of this specific trailer uh i hope that ea brings it definitely i really hope that they bring it but this is ikc signing out hope you guys like the parody videos peace this is siri thank you for watching and be sure to like this video for more videos from this particular mode click more videos if you want to see more content from ikc click subscribe oh and don't forget to follow ikc on twitter and to like his facebook page this is Siri signing out. Peace.